Yapay genel zekaya ulaştığımızda insanlık radikal bolluk çağına adım atacak. Sınırsız enerji herkesin suya, eğitime, sağlığa ve gıdaya ücretsiz olarak erişmesini sağlayacak. Bu söylemler Google DeepMind'ın CEO'su, Nobel ödüllü Demis Hasabis'e ait. Geleceğe dair söylemleri herkes tarafından ilgiyle takip edilen yazar ve düşünür Yuval Noah Harari ise bu kadar umutlu değil. Tarihteki en büyük sosyal deneyin içindeyiz diyor. Bu videoda son günlerde bu iki zihnin yapay zekanın geleceğine dair söylemlerini tartışalım istedik. Well, if everything goes well, then we should be uh, in an era of what I like to call sort of uh, radical abundance. So AGI solves some of these key what I sometimes call root node problems in mm. the world facing society. So a good one examples would be curing diseases, much healthier, longer lifespans, finding new energy sources, mm. uh, you know, whether that's optimal batteries and better, better, you know, su- room temperature yeah. superconductors, fusion. Um, and then if that all happens, then, you know, it should be a kind of era of maximum human flourishing where we travel to the stars and colonize the galaxy. That's You know, I think the beginning of that will hmm. happen in the next 20-30 years if if if if the next period goes well. Harari ise yapay zekanın her şeyi düzeltebilmesi için insanlığın önceliklerinin değişmesi gerektiğini söylüyor. So the most important thing is that we need to solve our own human problems instead of relying on the AI to do it for us. And the most and the key problem is the is the problem of trust and cooperation. At the present moment, trust is collapsing all over the world, both between countries and within societies. And the hope that, okay, humans can no longer trust each other, so the international system and the trade system and everything is collapsing, but the AI will save us, will solve, no, it will not. In a world in which humans compete with each other ferociously and cannot trust each other, the AI produced by such a world will be a ferocious, competitive, untrustworthy AI. It's not possible for humans, as they engaged in, in, in this ferocious competition, to create benevolent, trustworthy AI. It will just not happen. So if you think about it, it's just a question of priority. We have now this big human trust problem, and we have the issue, how do, how do we develop AI? Too many people think, okay, let's first solve the how do we develop AI problem, and then this will solve the human trust problem. It will not work. We need to get our priorities the other way. First solve the human trust problem, then together we can create benevolent AI. Of course, this is not what is happening right now in the world. Hasa biz bu eleştiriye şöyle cevap veriyor. Radikal bolluk geldiğinde yaşama algılama biçimimizi değiştireceğiz. Kazanmak her şey olmayacak. Kapitalizmin dışında yeni bir ekonomik teoriye ihtiyacımız olacak diyor. So the AGI will give us the radical abundance capability, technically, like the water access. I then hope, and this is where I think we need some great philosophers or, or, or so social scientists to be involved, that should hopefully um, shift our mindset as a, as a society to non-zero sum. You know, there's still the issue of do, right. do you divide even the radical abundance yeah. <laughs> fairly, right? Of course, that's what should happen. But I think there's much more likely once people start feeling and understanding that there is this almost limitless um, mm. supply of, of, of raw materials and energy and things like that. Mm. I think it's the current, you know, capitalism or, you know, is the current or the Western sort of democratic, democratic kind of, you know, systems uh, have so far been proven to be sort of the best drivers of progress. Mm-hmm. So I think that's true. My view is that once you get to that sort of stage of radical abundance and post AGI, I think economics starts changing, even the, the, the notion of value and money. And so, again, I think we need, mm. I'm not sure why economists are not working uh-huh. harder on this if they, re, maybe they don't believe it's that close, mm. right? But, but, but if they really did, that, like the, the AGI scientists do, then I think there's a lot of economic, new economic theory that's required. Hazabis'in bu söylemi üzerine oldukça düşünmeye değer olsa da, Harari'nin yapay zeka ajanlarına karşı bugüne dair uyarıları da bizce çok önemli. Avrupa gibi göç alan ve mültecilerden yakınan ülkeleri net bir şekilde uyarıyor. Yapay zeka ajanları dijital mülteciler olarak ülkelerinize geliyor. İşlerinizi elinizden alacak, kültürünüzü değiştirecek ve belki bir gün yönetmek isteyecekler. So it's the in a way it's the biggest 
social experiment in human history. We are all part of it, and nobody has any idea how it will develop. You know, one analogy to keep in mind, we now have this uh, uh, immigration crisis in the US, in Europe, elsewhere. Lots of people worried about immigrants. Why are people worried about immigrants? There are three main things that come to people's mind. They will take our jobs. They come with different cultural ideas. They will change our culture. They may have political agendas. They might try to take over the country politically. These are the three main things that people keep coming back to. Now, you can think about the AI revolution as simply a wave of immigration of millions and billions of AI immigrants that will take people's jobs, that have very different cultural ideas, and that might try to gain some kind of political power. And these AI immigrants, these digital immigrants, they don't need visas. They don't cross the sea in some rickety boat in the middle of the night. They come at the speed of light. And um, I, I look, for instance, at far-right parties in, in, in, in Europe. And they talk so much about the human immigrants, sometimes with justification, sometimes without justification. They, talk, they don't talk almost at all about the wave of, of digital immigrants that is coming into Europe. And I think they should be much, if they care about the sovereignty of their country, if they care about the economic and cultural future of their country, they should be far more worried about the digital immigrants than about the human immigrants. Akıllı gelecekte hep birlikte geleceği anlamaya çalışmak bizim için çok değerli. İyi ki varsınız. <gülüyor>